Hi, my name's uh, Brian Toez. I'm an applications engineer here with uh, Bill's Vibration Technology, and today I'll be showing you how to uh, unpackage and set up a uh, vibration isolation table. So with each isolation table, um, you're gonna receive two packages or two skids. The first one's going to be a uh, skid like this. It's gonna have the table frame on it. Um, it's going to have uh, the air springs and everything already mounted to it. Um, typically packaged with some cardboard around it. The second skid you will have um, will look like this, and this will be your granite top. Once you've uh, unpackaged your isolation table, um, you'll take, will also be included on the table frame, um, a set of instructions and uh, a set of three metal plates. We will get to these a little bit later. Uh, so next you will take the uh, isolation table, lift it off the skid. Depending on the size of the table frame, you may need um, a uh, forklift or some other lifting assistance. Um, in this case, we're fortunate it's small and uh, able just to handle it. This table is a two foot by two foot table um, set up for working at a uh, sitting height. The next step would be to uh, take your granite top and uh, place that on top of the air springs. And again, in this case, um, it's a two foot by two foot granite, so this is only about 200 pounds. Um, we're able to pick it up just the two of us, but in um, other situations with larger tables, you will need um, some kind of lift assist assistance, a uh, forklift, some sort of rigging to lift the granite and place it on top of the uh, um, isolation table frame. Also included with the granite will be a um, certification for the grade of the granite and its flatness. Once you place the granite on the air springs, you'll want to get it approximately centered on the air springs. Make sure all the gaps are even all the way around. And then the next step you, before we hook it up to air will be to uh, level the granite to the frame. So there are some leveling feet on the bottom here and they're all adjustable. Um, you'll take a, uh, a level and uh, place it in the center of the granite here. And you wanna make sure that you're only leveling one axis at a time. So you only wanna level this way and then level this way. Don't try and uh, do both axes E at the same time. At the bottom of the leveling feet, there's a, a little jam nut here. You wanna make sure that's loose. And then you will, uh, there's two flats here. You'll adjust with your wrench. So in this case, this side is a little bit high, so we're gonna come down with it. You'll want to grab the three metal plates that we set aside before. Um, in some cases, you will also have uh, a purple, a two, we call this pad A, but a, a foam purple pad between two metal plates. In the case of this table, we are not using these, um, but some of you may have this in exchange of a hard metal plate. So whether you're using the pad A or the hard metal plate, um, these are going to go into position underneath the level control valves. There's three of them on the table. Um, these level control valves have a uh, knurled adjustment ring here. You uh, turn it counterclockwise to go up, clockwise to go down. Um, when you receive the table, these will be set to a a low setting below the air spring to uh, prevent damage to the plunger. What you will do is, uh, once the granite's in place, you'll epoxy, you'll put some epoxy on the back side of these uh, metal plates. Um, 
we're leaving them loose for the purpose of this video. You want to get it centered over the plunger of the control valve and just adjust this ring counterclockwise up. The control valve will raise its height and you're going to keep continue to adjust it until you feel pressure um, from the spring here loosen off the fitting. So just right there, I, I came off the fitting, so the knurled ring is loose. And what you wanna do once it's loose is just back it down so it's just touching the fittings. And that gives you a uh, consistent start, a good starting point um, for leveling the granite and um, it gives you the proper air gap um, that you're looking for between the uh, body of the air spring and the bottom of the granite. Um, for floating. So I'll go ahead and uh, install these other two metal plates. Again, you're centering it over the plunger of the air sprit or of the level control valve, and you're adjusting counterclockwise up until the knurled ring is loose on the air fittings. And then you're just taking it back down so it touches the air fitting lightly and has a little bit of tension. Do that again with the third one. Then remember, these should be epoxied into place. Um, we're, again, leaving them loose for the purpose of this video, but um, when you are installing your table, you want to just use a two-part of epo two part epoxy on the bottom side of the um, metal plate to hold it in place. So next, the uh, table is ready to hook up to an air supply. The customer um, requested to be supplied with an air compressor. So we supplied them with a uh, super silent um, air compressor. This is a, um, a compressor designed to be very quiet for uh, noise sensitive environments like labs and uh, clean rooms. Runs off a 110 power supply. And then, if you're supplied with a um, air compressor, you also have this piece of 8 millimeter tubing. Um, if not, this is where you would connect your pressure regulator under here to shop air. So, we're just going to go ahead and plug this tubing into the air compressor. It's important if you are using your own shop air that you supply the table with clean and dry air. Um, the table's designed to uh, run at six bar or four to six bar range. Um, six bar is about 87 PSI. Now that the air compressor is hooked up and uh, pressurized, um, you'll come under here. There's a pressure regulator um, mount it to the frame where you'll hook your air input up to. Um, this will be shipped to you and with the pressure turned all the way down to zero PSI. What you'll want to do is crank this top uh, adjustment knob until the pressure gauge on the regulator reaches uh, about six bar. And as you crank the uh, pressure up to six bar, your uh, isolation table should begin to lift the granite and uh, um, level itself out. So once your air isolation table is floating and uh, you've checked each air spring to ensure that there's a, a gap all the way around, um, you can do a final level of the table and the uh, air springs. Um, so you get your level back out. Again, you just want to focus on one axis at a time. In this case, it's uh, still pretty level in that axis. It's a little bit out there. So you can use the uh, level control valves here to level the granite now. Um, again, turning 
clockwise to lower the valve and counterclockwise to raise the valve. In this case, we need to go down on this back side. So I'm just gonna give it a quarter turn and that brought it into level. Um, and once your, uh, once your granite top is level and you're happy with uh, um, where it's at, that is, uh, that completes your isolation table setup.